Scotty Scheffler starting up the left hand side trying to cut and this is going to be fine. Scotty Scheffler his nice drive 127. Yeah, I would look for something just right of the hole location. Usually controls the distance very well. Yeah, like that. Oh, that's got to be careful. False front there. It's going to work its way back toward the front. Just not used to seeing that around here, Mike. I mean, Nota touched on it earlier with the two, more than two inches of rain over the weekend. Right off the front of the green there. And steeply uphill up that false front, so controlling the distance is uh, critical and slips a little bit uh, um, in his putting, especially the short putts. Well, of course, as soon as we say that. And again, on that second shot, another yard or maybe two mm -hmm. yards, and that ball doesn't come off to the front exactly. of the green. And this is shaping just a little right to left with three wood, and this will find the center of the fairway as well. Beautiful. Boy, just uh, textbook for Scheffler, as we've seen throughout the entire year, just able to shape it both ways off the tee. We'll cut back right. Trying to fit his sh shot shape, which is a little left to right. This is a little left of the hole. I don't know if he got it all. He did not, did not like that swing, but uh, could happen. This is going to swing left of the hole. We've got the weight figured pretty darn well. All right, good speed there from Scotty. Okay, okay. So he's one for two with those kind of putts, and he's back to even par. Another eight iron here. <laughs> Just right of the hole. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. Yeah. Fine. Yep, mayor's office. He's gonna have a look for another birdie. All the way into that back corner. Just running a little bit away from the hole, Raj, but a great looking putt. Scotty, and he is now two under par. Look out, the world's number one player is on track again. Ooh, oh. A little bit of a helicopter finish there, trying to get that thing to squirt to the right. And it doesn't do it. Players hitting this fairway less than 50% of the time. That yeah, very thick, very uniform rough. This one 185. A little stutter two-step after he hit that one. Trying to chase it up on, but just too soft. It won't let it get all the way there. Yeah, wonderful short game. Takes the club outside going back on these little short shots. Oh. Fortunate there that the flag stick got in the way. Went downhill on the quick side. Ripped it in. Very nice. Uh, what iron do you think that is? Again, after the bogey start, Shuffler with three birdies in the last four holes. Dan, that's a nice shape in there. Even from the middle of the fairway, you can see that tall palm tree. It defies gravity hanging over, particularly to this front right hole location. Boy, our camera guys are listening to us. Yeah, this is going to be a great angle. And it's going to break right. Yeah, just uh, never had a chance. Yeah, Ricky's ball lied to us a little bit too. His straight no. You don't want to go right. You can get locked up over there by trees and rough and bad angle. This is up the left side. 
Okay, oh, okay. It is perfect now. <laughs> This is an eight iron. Good strike and right at it again. And that comes up short, so that'll be an awkward putt up and over that. Uh... Yeah, it should come back left as it gets toward the hole if it gets there. Yeah. They usually are, Raj. As a rule. Too much, baby. Oh, he got a nice bounce there. Through the heavy rough. Oh, that's actually a pretty good place to buck from Birdie. He doesn't know where that ball is, like Roger said. That bunker kind of hides it, but that'll count as a green in regulation, even though he didn't hit that the way he wanted to. Scotty Scheffler just burns the edge. Mm. Boy, he looks sharp though, doesn't he? Be tough to beat this week. Yeah, I just have a feeling. I mean, he's going to shoot five or six under today, and it's going to be that every day. Another fairway for Scotty, six out of seven so far. Amazing. Wants it to be enough. Oh. Oh. And that's not too bad with that uh, back hole location. Usually takes the club up and out very quickly. A lot of short follow-throughs. That had to be hit heavy. Yeah, that, I mean that, and that was going to be your miss. Yeah, that started right. That yeah, was never on the line. Shepherd through nine holes, just lurking. Five back. Right side of the team ground. Gives him a little room for that fade. Well, that, that was aggressive, but now it's going to be rewarded. Scheffler waiting to hit his second. It's kind of on a mini shelf hidden over there on the left side. Manage the spin here. Doesn't matter if you hold him up 10, 15 minutes. Pretty it's, good. As the uh, when he was using the blade, yeah. and he, come, he lines it up better. Yeah. He said there were times last year. I think I tried too hard on my putting, so he eliminated the line. It's more of a field, a mallet putter, and it has just been tremendous. Yeah. Starts up the left, cutting back. Oh, this is really good. I think Very that's not good. consistency of swing. No. Nope. Average 176 miles an hour ball speed and exactly on that number. Now this is the one you want to get way up in the air, Gary. Get this and land as softly as you can. 104 feet apex. That's pretty high and that lands pretty softly. Oh, it did not turn left. Mm. I'm with you, Scotty. I saw it breaking left. A little short stuff here, though, for the birdie for Scheffler. So a bogey at one, then a run of birdies at two, three, and four. And now back to back to start the back nine. And Scotty Scheffler. So they've got this tee back 371 today. It's actually playing over par today. Scheffler. Really important to hit this fairway to have a chance to get it close to this pin. The pin is up on a top little shelf there. It should stay in the fairway. It took the trajectory down there again. Looks just like the driving. 
put on the very back right. I'm going to land this just on top of that rear plateau. This needs to go, I think. Yeah, I'm asking for it to go right away, and he knew it wasn't his best. And that's got to settle, and it will. And once again, Raj with the call. <laughs> He's putted well so far today on the right speed. He's turning sideways at the end of the journey. If you sat on this hole for the entire day, you'd probably not see many make that putt or even come close. That Slightly against and a little bit from the left. The hole all the way back left. Well, that follows through. That's got to be to the right of where he yeah, wants it. Yeah, it is. That's right yeah. of where he wanted it. Yeah. Late on the release there. A number of players putt from up here on this upper level, and virtually everyone has done a good job with the speed. Well, this is going to be fine with the speed. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> just when you that. say that, <laughs> check that. Yep. A little too long to take for granted. Okay. Rolling it. We talked about Scotty Scheffler could just have good days and strokes gain putting. Everybody's hitting driver here. It's, it's one of the fairways that's most hit, so they're not having any problems finding the fairway. Well, Scheffler hasn't had much of a problem, as has been the case for a while now, peeling out to the right. Should be just fine. Yep. We often see this the most difficult par four on the course. Nobody's put on the display of the shot making this season, last couple of years, and this guy doesn't love it. It's like as bad a shot as he's ever hit. <laughs> I was just going to say, <laughs> yeah. that's as offline as he's getting these days. Yeah, just going to push left to right the whole way, maybe a foot, foot and a half left to right. Reach. That's a good par four. He just keeps putting pars in the scorecard. Only misstep was on the opening hole. He took three from the fringe of the green for bogey. Since then, it's been clinical. Yeah, not an easy tee shot here. Fairway angles just slightly left to right. Creates kind of a difficult angle to get at, but this starts at the center and pretty much holding mm. the line. This should be just fine. Yeah, only missed one fairway all day, Roger. And it's doesn't look like he's going to miss any. No. Ever. Let's go to 15. And trying to get some work done here. JT and Ricky knocked it close. Scheffler trying to make it all three. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, terrible. Yeah. That's 15 <laughs> feet. <laughs> Scheffler's exactly right. wow. birdie putt. Just going to push to his right. That was all over the show there, Karin. That's the most I've seen a ball bubble on a green in our entire coverage today. He'll rue that. Yeah, yeah that yeah, particularly when he don't even get the putt to the to the cup. But one thing I will say, Mark. Tight, but it's up high enough and just cutting back a little It'll bit. It'll be fine. I gotta wow. believe. <laughs> Can't believe how hard he hit that ball. Again, you mentioned on the last old Gary, he's only missed one fairway. Swing left almost at that big toll hole there. Did that get the kick that Thomas's did? I don't oh. think so. I think that's a little too far left to get it. Oh, what a miss. Scheffler trying to get within one of the lead, and that is going to come up just short from 30 feet, but it'll be a tap in birdie for him to get to five under. Home hit such a good putt, just a hair too much pace, and now he's got a little something left. Scheffler made this hole look just absolutely routine, perfect drive. Doing his. Going to have to take something off this, Roger. Yes, he does. This has got to be the three finger special here. Okay. Just on the right edge. Just looks so comfortable over it. 
That, that stroke looked a touch hooky. He was swinging out to the right to not miss it left, and that thing was moving fast to the left. Yeah, he looked a little late with that. Right. He didn't try to or he tried to save it, and I don't think he did. Yeah, Rod, he was definitely aiming more down the center than Thomas was, and it settles down a little low spot. Good news, heavy lie, 208. Let's see how much club he can get on this. He hit it low and scoot it up there. Water left. Well, he got a lot of club on it. I thought he got more than... That's dangerous. It's going to be That is dangerous, but it's going to be just okay. I'll let you know. Yeah, I'd be putting it, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, I kind of like that choice, too. I was going to say, right? That's why he's number one in the world. Didn't really hit the best irons for him. What a save. 67 it is. Stroke looks good. Yeah, another solid putting day. Fax 18 of 19 inside 15 feet. Strategy. Yeah, his strategy, Billy, is incredible. It just didn't feel like he could get Max out at 117. May have put a little more focus on this, but no worries and just go through the process. Mm -hmm. Birdie for Sam Ryder there. Scheffler here at 11. Well, into a touch of breeze. No problem. Kind of hitting away from the water from this right hand side. You know, he wasn't going to make a mistake right. Uh, that's back in the rough. Uh, led the field last week in strokes gain around the green, Billy, but that'll that'll test the skill. Just earlier, third and 11 for Scheffler. Didn't have much from the rough. This angle. And once again, Perksy, smart play. Hmm. Really good effort. And I think Teddy does it. Hmm. I don't know if I've seen that <laughs> footwork. I've seen a lot of it. But and uh, with... that's what he's done, Perksy. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Oh, <laughs> dancing all around the hole. Fowlers came in at 100 feet. That one came in at 50. May not get all of that left movement in that we saw from JT. Still got a little though. Mm, sure did. Lift one out back at 11 and. How about that little field shot there? Yeah, it took a lot off that. How oh. about that? <laughs> Not, not Boys, really I'm just going to tell you, it's a delight being out here. Perfect read. Uh, he's now 34 of 35 from inside 15 feet, going back to the last three rounds at Bay Hill. Well, that's just fine up the right hand side. Yeah, it certainly took a lot off that, Billy. That, that thing flew about 275. Uh, I know it is back into the wind, but... Uh... Mm -hmm. Pretty much exactly there, Billy.
Could even be a couple balls left to right here. He called it. He missed it. But he did make a four. So it was an eventful par four. Had about a five minute neck massage before he embarked on this difficult par four. Eventually taps in for the par and off we go. One back. Pretty big cut from here. No, oh, that one's that one's not moving. That one's going to be in the left rough. Just try to flight it low. Needs to work a little to the right. Oh, it hit the face of that bunker and just absolutely killed the speed. Slow down. It's just that he's not able to keep the head in position and work around it. I mean, he still has to move the body. And that is pretty. The clings to the right side. You know, help the pace of play. If you can speed it up a little bit, maintain your position, that would be very helpful. And that one starts left and is not coming back. Missed the oak trees, but get it within five feet. Just came out a little quick, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. The other side is the top of the leaderboard, and it's two of the players that you have seen already. Scotty Scheffler, here's how he's been working it around despite the work on that neck. Little down and from the left with the wind. Stay there. Ooh. Ooh. Pretty that good roll. Looked like you had a chance to dip in there. It did. It did. But it's all you're trying to do. Hit the putting surface. But the, the finish line, those two trees at the end of the trees, down at the fairway, that would be ideal. Oh, he plays the That's brave line. More aggressive than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Some kind of nine iron here. That's oh, a big pull. That's oh, a big pull right there. Yeah, the, the intention was there to try to cut look to me. Do you have the proper speed? Because this is one of the slower putts on this golf course. Well good done. Call. Yeah, that was a good call. Yeah. That's a wonderful two putt from where he hit his second. It's moving right, but it's moving way too much right. That is a rare missed fairway for Scheffler. Well, he did, Billy, and it's releasing from the rough. That's an excellent shot. It's so smart. Tried to come back to the left at the end. You know, nothing ever seems rushed. The game never gets too fast for Scotty. A little easier, Craig, to turn that three wood down for the players yeah, in the corner he, there? He, Anything at the tower at the back would be ideal. No. 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 
incredible. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> Precisely, you couldn't walk. I'm still thinking about the three wood this man hit into this yeah. green. I mean, effortless and just as pure as it could possibly be. Yeah, just the intelligence he plays with. You think this is going to be long. Uh oh. Up a little. Uh, that one looked like it hurt him a little bit there, Betty. That was the reaction. He made a birdie at two was uncomfortable hitting the shot at the third. So this was his second, and he holds that just to try to take a little bit of stress off this round. Scotty Scheffler getting the job done. Yeah, the neck a little bit. Yeah, this looks awesome. Mm. Yes, indeed. That's a... It's a dangerous fairway. It's pretty narrow, and you know if you miss it either direction. There have not been many players down here. Just 75 yards to the hole. That's got to go. Oh, wow. That was close as well. <laughs> I was going to say, it's been rather stress for you. Yeah, he played a lot more than, than what I think you saw there, Billy. The routine has never wavered. He's taken great care of the short ones, as we've seen all morning long. Just past the noon hour here in Northeast Florida. That was great contact. That's just, so out just a little more dead than what they wanted. Yeah, I, I think if he would lead, uh, we've talked about lead. That's a great, great look. Speed dependent. Just another really good lag. Indeed. And trying to eliminate as much stress as he can, especially not at 100% physically. And impressive. I'm going to say he's accurate with a lot of clubs. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> and he's because that is symmetrically. He's having trouble turning his head to look at the flag. So Nearly move his left shoulder to do it. Yeah, and you can see him struggle through the the hit right there. The one little grab right there. Yeah, and left it in the ideal spot, Billy, underneath the hole. Exactly where he's aiming. That, then that wasn't the best of strokes. Fully expect them to. Billy Kratz, a number one fan of the <laughs> Scotty Shuffle three wood, as we all are. <laughs> 100%. Wisely to the center of the green, Billy. Perfect distance control. Scotty Scheffler has been battling through some discomfort in his neck, yet he is still playing a good round. Three under par, and that was for birdie just up ahead at number seven, 16th hole of the day. And we'll look at Scotty Scheffler here, Steve, putting for par. All right, so he stays at three under four of the day after 67 yesterday. We could see even as he went down to get the ball out of the hole. Quite a bit of help today, probably right, closer Scotty. to 215, but this is a pull. Needs to carry that bunker. Can get a kick, but I don't think it's going to. It didn't carry the bunker, John, and that's short-sided. Scheffler found this bunker off the tee at eight. See how soft that sand is. His feet were dug in there. It's downhill all the way. 
It made that look a little bit easier than it really was. And it looks good now. Yeah, so even for all this pain that he's been dealing with, he's still working on a three under day, Mike. Straight left to right win today. Scotty's at that point with that neck. You just want to get it in without doing something too crazy and get to the physio and get that neck worked on as soon as possible. Good drive there. Yeah, it's nice to be able to finish up with a par five. And this is a very smart play for a couple reasons. Statistically yesterday, there were just as many birdies made laying up as there were going for it. This hole in terms of going for the green in contrast to the other par five provides the least number of opportunity. This is going to be a very tight fit in here. This two is going to carry a little deep. Well, it's been back for him. Does just a touch. You know, he's only got one more to play, so Scheffler's going to be able to get in and get, so, get that shoulder looked at. So he misses that birdie putt. Doesn't take advantage of the par five. Now watch him take the golf ball out of the hole. Not the normal verb that he normally has. Scotty Scheffler, the defending champion. Uh, this is a sliding cut heading towards the right rough. And a busy Next spot. on the tee. And Scheffler's second shot. Fairway miss right has been common for players off the tee. It's so rare to see Scheffler miss a fairway. Like half the fields miss this fairway. I think a little bit is the nerves, a little bit is the wind blowing that direction. It's just kind of a fiddly little fairway to try and catch players between three wood and driver here oftentimes, but darn close. The other direction. Exactly. Wasn't. At one, Scheffler for birdie. This is the faster direction. You know, got to avoid the rough today with how heavy it is, but he's got some KT tape on his neck. That, to me, was the little bit of discomfort he was dealing with. And you see that we saw yesterday, Ginger bend down to go to the play now at the second. And Scheffler off this par five. Dog leg left, the initial tee shot here. Going to have to work a draw with this three wood, I believe. Uh, he's trying to, kid. Should catch the right side of the fairway. So Scheffler continues to battle through that neck pain. Scheffler in position with his second. A three wood. Must not have caught the three wood off the tee very solidly. Only flying 250 yards. Almost crept up there. Be a difficult up and down from down there. You're so far below, and it ends up on the downslope every time. That's so classy. Took a lot of that the last couple years. He landed that ball almost in that only one foot area you could land it in short of that green to run it up there perfectly. Back hole location, very tight back there. Yeah. Really tight. You can see him losing it to the right. I think that might have something to do with how he feels. That wind is blowing hard left to right. We saw a lot of balls over there yesterday. Well, that was a beautiful touch in the last hole. I wouldn't be surprised if he did it again here. Shallow looking. He's trying to make it, but now one's scooting pretty far by. The grain's coming towards the camera in there, right to left. And he's starting to make a lot of these putts for saves. He just keeps rolling along with a stiff neck and all. Chance for another birdie for Scheffler to make it two in the first four holes put a little heat uphill right to left too much bargain really a cool driving hole at the angle of this fairways left to right like the bunker like the water that the winds blowing right to left he's anxious here it's going down the right oh he gets an unlucky break there and comes back down that's going to be an uncomfortable stance for him and have to get it over that lip. At five, Scheffler out of the bunker, second shot. 
Well, he's got a good stance there. Four. 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 Just right. almost never see that kind of a reaction or result no, and from Scotty Sheffield. Okay. Off a down slope is going to try to land this on the left side of the green. Anything inside of 15 feet would be brilliant. Oh, be good. Big, big slope there. If you miss this whole location, left side, you're going to have to deal with that. And the good fortune of being short of pin high, but green. Kiz lost his pace right yeah. off the get go. Yeah. Well, he had successfully scrambled a couple of times already in this round, leaning a bit on that short game, not as per trying to land it about on Corey Connors' ball. I think these guys are pushing off the T smiley because the whole location is so far back, they know they can skip it in there just like that one. That's how it's done, boys. And up at the six, Scheffler, who hit it tight. For birdie. Coming off that birdie at the six. Light the candle! Yes, got it! Got it! Got it! Got it! Kept that one a lot lower. So it has been playing down, but the wind's shifting all over the place. A little more right to left. Yeah, that in, in off the right, just a little low fade. That's what he's trying to do, not fading. That's over there where Rory was, wasn't it? It came off the right. It, yeah, see, he said it came off the right, came so that wind nice. fooled him. <laughs> so that while all of that was happening, Scheffler stepped in this birdie attempt. Oh, it really got hung up. Really fooled there. He's going to wish he took out his lob wedge. And Scheffler to save par here now. Good par savers for Sheffield. He did it on three when he chipped it by there. To gauge the distance. To the eighth. Sheffield with a four iron. Fighting a four iron right at it. Needs a bounce. He's definitely losing some ball speed. It's just not coming off like normal. Yeah, there's always a lot of kind of chaos with his swing. You can see those greens missed piling up quicker than they did the first couple of days. Scheffler was in such pain yesterday. He just at one point said, I don't know if I could finish the round. It's just about a half, 70.5. So it is there for the taking if you're on your game. Scheffler for par at eight. Looks way better in the setup to me. I told him that this morning in the locker room. I like it with the mallet, and I like that he's not using the line anymore. We're at the ninth with the ball speed here for Scheffler. Just a bit under his season average, as you see there. That's tight there. It can carry the bunker, but then you watch this. Okay, we're going to hit this one sitting down in some thick rough. Big ball. A full right leg kick to get Just it out of there. short right needs a bounce to get to the fairway. That's okay. actually not a bad shot at all. A little different right leg action. His third from 158. There's the cost of the rough is some 60 or 70 yards. He's hitting a pitching wedge. Unbelievable. And that pitch on the green. Let's go, Scotty! Scotty! Let's see it right away. Up to 10. Scheffler looking through the shadow for birdie. Got enough pace. I always liked hitting it here in the fairway if you could. It's good angle, just get it. Oh no. That was a three iron. That's a crazy Oof. good break. There's, there's two fairways here. You can lay up right or lay up left. He wasn't trying to lay up, but. 2019 winner of the Rocket Mortgage in Detroit up on the green of the 11. Scheffler for birdie. Oh, pretty good pitch there, just right up the hill, too. And that's two putts in a row to the right. Hang, and hang on. Anything left of this green is flirting with the water. Just too much momentum to stay dry. Up at the 12th, Scheffler's third.
use the first cut there to drop it in to give himself a little more cushion, make that chip a little easier. Good work. He's, he did some battling yesterday for sure. He likes it. It's just right of the hole. It can come down to the left. Oh, no, that's going to go down to the low area, Mike. You mentioned yesterday how many three putts are on the screen. That's one of them. That's not really as far down as it could have gone. Right through the shadow of the palm tree. Yep, that's back up the hill. Just 157. Kids, he needs to get something going. This is the chance right here. Maybe just in between clubs there, kids, just not taking advantage of the scoring opportunities. Where Connors has made bogey, Scheffler for birdie. Needs to get one to go here. Just a little short. The Scheffler will remain now. Look at that beautiful setup right there, the forearms and the shaft, and he's. God, it looked like it was going to go. And there's that frustration that we saw earlier. And we've got Scheffler on at the par 5 16th. See if he takes the bold line or the conservative line that you showed us earlier, right down the middle. Last time he hit this club on 11, he hit a big old pole. That's how aggressive he is. And here's another big old pole. As we head up to 16, Scheffler's third. Love the way he hits these. He's going to play it back and let it just two hops and skip and then grab and roll down that slope to the hole. He's so good at this. Scheffler to break the par string at 16. And he's back within six. Yeah, you heard Ted Scott say right edge of that tent. And down. Good shot. Very good shot. Beautiful. Turned it a little more than he thought. From off the edge of the green. Now Scheffler for birdie. And Scotty Scheffler gutting it through. Oh, he's tough. T Get shot. Out of there. Beautiful draw right down the perfect line, right down the center of fairway. Let's Just go, perfect. He's on a heater, too. Finished with three in a row. This is the shot we've come to watch Scotty hit inside of 10 or 15 feet a lot. And he's turned into Scotty Scheffler here the last few holes. <laughs> That's a nine iron. Scheffler for three in a row to end his Saturday. Hard putt. It goes left early and then back right late. World number one showing us again why he's on every single leaderboard every single week. And Smiley Kaufman's with this group. And Mike, this is heading right just like yesterday. And just like yesterday in the rough. And challenge the guys to the last group. And Harmon in that second to last, worth watching as well. Scheffler here at one. Lashley's already played. He's short of the green. Well, from that line, Mike, that's pretty good. It was sitting down in that rough. Oh, it's, it's not a bad spot to putt from, you know, and he said, Yesterday after the round, he's five shots back. What do you have to do to win? I have to shoot really low. I, I don't see the players out in the last couple groups shooting over par today. The conditions aren't that difficult. Greens are receptive. He sure looks more comfortable walking around. You, you don't see the, the noticeable turn with his neck and his body. And back on the tee is Scheffler. Tricky driving hook is. Yeah, he told me in the locker room with his neck, he's having a hard time hitting a draw. And you see right there, he almost played a fade off the tree line trying to hit the fairway there. He said he didn't make it. His backswing is long, and yeah. that's what he needs to get that. Oh, 
Flew that a lot further than I was expecting, Smiley. I don't know if it came out quicker than he was expecting. Yeah, I talked about the importance of Scheffler taking care of par fives, but a long birdie try here at the second and just ran out of gas. Par is the first two for Scheffler, nine iron. Chef. Well, he favors the right to left. There's like a lot of the best players that putt from the right side. That looks good. And they kept breaking to the left. That's surprising. Yeah. Got to get it going after three straight pars. This one ought to be dancing around the hole. Kind of like that. Oh, it might go in. Unbelievable. Ideally, you'd like to cut it just like that to get it in this fairway. This is a beautiful hole here. Angled tee shot. And yesterday, he had it go in the face of that bunker. The, today, it's just about five yards left of that. Perfect. And Scotty Scheffler coming off his second career eagle at Sawgrass. Come on, Scotty. 460 yard par four. One of the best holes on the golf course. You see that hole location hey, tucked over that little knob there. And let's return to the fifth and Scheffler the Eagle at four try to go Eagle birdie here. Yeah playing with Lashley so we saw that putt go in. Will it be contagious? Hey, hey here comes number one in the world. Eagle birdie Scheffler tied for third. Different club off the tee here today with the front hole location. He's going to lay back so he can control his spin. Yesterday he drive her all the way to the end of the fairway to the back hole location. Looks like he's getting through it better. Got a little more speed. Talking to him in the locker room, he said, "Hey, with this whole location, you got to cover just a soft false front, but you don't want to get it too far past it. It'll, it'll funnel down to the left. So, isn't it right? Just right of the hole. It looks like greens are starting to firm up. We're starting to hear them. Starting to see the bigger bouncers. Bounces it." Good read from Smiley. Back into the wind now. Let's go, Scotty. Up, Scotty. Yeah. Hole, yeah. Needs a bounce. This tee shot's gotten so much harder since they opened that whole left side up. It just looks like there's nowhere to drive it anymore. Smiley, Scheffler second. Trying to fade something. Ball was sitting down. He got a little jumper, guys. Left. Mm. Well, that's probably a good break getting the kick down into that bunk. Two back, green to work with. Yeah, and very similar shot to what we just saw. Yeah. Matt McNeely had. He can run this all the way across, and this looks pretty good. Yeah, that's a high, high lip to that bunker. Is to kind of keep that momentum, make par, not drop back three. Big putt. Got yeah. it. Stays with him too. He didn't want him. Scheffler on the tee. 243 going for a high fade to that back hole location. Want to land it probably eight or ten steps short of the hole high. Get it to chase back there to it. Terrific shot there. Gonna have a great look uphill left to right putt there from about 12, 14 feet. Saw Hideki's ball move to the right at the very end. Another one falls for Scheffler. You said you'd like 20 under or about to have a chance. Yeah, that's absolutely perfect. Down the left side. Yeah, right. right where you want to be. Brought the trajectory down there. Got a little bit of roll, too, and that kicked a little to the right, so that's a better angle coming in for this. Oh, he did it. Oh, he did, Brad. Got to sit now. Yeah, that fringe slowed him down. He'll yep. stay on the green. And That'll be just fine from chipping over there, yep. though. Two incredible shots. The tee shot. Yeah, we're seeing a view from back here. He's already aiming right at Ted Scott's feet. 62 footer. Experience in heat. Yeah, sure is. Almost off the green. We saw three people put off the green yesterday. We were talking about, you know, this I have this great quote, success brings clues, you know, and he, he got this new putter, he got a little taller, 
putters longer, the mallet. And he's rolling them in more often. What a front nine. All right, we go to 10. Scheffler on the tee, on a roll. Just a three wood, cutting it up the left center of the fairway. Probably be great at that front right bend, kids. He looks like he's back to the number one Scotty Scheffler I'm used to watching all year today. Needs to get up a little bit on line. Right below the hole, Smiley, in line for another one. Just a little bit uphill, moving just fractionally left to right. It's a good look. But he'll stay one back at 17 under. Opportunity here for a, a birdie or an eagle, and that looks like it's cut just enough to get it through that short side. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, look at that thing run out there. Things are starting to firm up here. That's the longest we've seen a ball roll here on the 11th since then. 211 and Scheffler's second shot 210 to this hole talking about holes to attack Mike six iron up in the air right where Matsuyama was still not a hard shot but that was right at it again Scheffler pepper and flag sticks a group earlier this is third a little uncomfortable with the foot out of the bunker helps you get some high block spin there Ball reacted almost identically to Hideki's where one hop and backed up. Yeah, look, he looks like he's eager to get over these now. There's no trepidation. There's 12 putts through 10 holes today. The man who leads the PGA Tour in par five scoring average. That's what he's trying to do. A little right side of the green needs a bounce. It gets it. That's perfect. It's going to feed left here. Be whole high by the end of it. One of the best we've seen all day. What can't this guy do? For the solo lead. Should just go slightly to his left. And it runs out. He saw it with Lashley. No line on the ball, looking and reacting. the narrative around in the putting department. He's 10 under in the last 15 holes. He looks so comfortable in his position. If the pin's on the left, he has no fear of that ball hooking. I told him earlier this morning, I said it was fun to actually watch you hit some bad shots yesterday. Well. It doesn't look like he's, uh, he's back on his game today. For Scotty Scheffler, for the outright lead. his first miss inside of five feet all week. Okay. Yeah, that's the first error really we've seen from Scheffler in this round and it was just such a good iron shot. And it's that perfect cut right down the right side as well. He's just on that autopilot mode that we've seen. I don't, he gets think it going. He, yeah, I don't think he nailed that one. He let go with one hand. Must have hit that off center. In the fairway, though. Trying to cut something to this right hole location. On line. Bit of a miscue there. Not what we're accustomed to seeing from him from 165. The ball's going to feed back off into a collection. He's so good at these kids. This action makes it look so simple. Very comfortable tee shot for Scotty Scheffler here. Ball starts straight down the middle. Yeah, so much more roll than we saw earlier in the week. Way down there. That's uh, 310, 320 neighborhood. Line. Right at it and stops with a good spot to take a look to Max Shoffley at 20 under. See, maybe just left, maybe right at that coin. 
Looked like she fanned it just ahead. Yeah. Right, right out of the gate. It's the same putt I saw him hit on 10 with almost the same read. One back. That looks like perfect line. Scotty needs to get two more and maybe a three here would be great. Yep, earlier kids, you said 20 under would look good, but with Shoffley at that number right now, think he can get four and all the way to hole high from here, Smiley? I don't. I don't either. Set the left side of the green. Looked like it was good contact. Stay there, that bunker. Yeah, that's that little pot bunker. We've got a camera planted there for a reason. Scheffler now with his third. The lie is perfect, a very simple shot. This is holable here, Smiley. Caught a chunky. But it's rolling out, Smiley. And <laughs> it's gonna be a birdie for Scheffler to push it to 20 under. And this incredible comeback for Scheffler with a pain. The neck was seven back after the 15th hole yesterday before he finished his third round birdie, birdie, birdie. And look what, what he's done today. Go after this flag. It'll be interesting to see if he is aggressive here right at it. It's the right line for him to hit in this situation. And he'll have work for a two putt there. Never looked at the flag stick. Scheffler to get out of here with a three and the lead. Yeah, he doesn't show much emotion, but he's turning inside. That was absolutely what he needed to do. Get it on the green. Happy with two putts. Come on, Scotty. Show us. They start up the right center, riding that right to left wind. Just another confident swing by Scheffler. That is ideal. Such a difference to what he was struggling with with the neck pain earlier. And the ball striker extraordinaire puts it just right at the stick hole hop. If he ends up winning, Davis Love, Fred Couples, Jack Nicholas, more pretty good company. For Scotty Scheffler, who will see if 20 under is good enough, saves his best for last.